China launched the TJS-15 satellite into geosynchronous transfer orbit from the Xichang Satellite Launch Center using a Long March 3B rocket. Officially described as a communication technology experiment satellite, the mission's secrecy has sparked global interest and speculation. This event not only highlights China's rapid advancements in space technology, but also raises questions about the satellite's true purpose and its implications for international security and the balance of power in space. So, what's China really up to in orbit? Let's dive in. The Tongxin Jishu Shuyan, TJS, series, translating to Communication Technology Experiment, has been a focal point of intrigue since its inception in 2015. The TJS, 15 is the latest addition to this series, officially intended for testing communication technologies. However, the consistent lack of detailed information from Chinese authorities has led analysts to question the satellite's actual mission. Historically, satellites in the TJS series have exhibited behaviors that suggest roles beyond civilian communication. For instance, TJS-3, launched in 2018, deployed a sub-satellite capable of independent maneuvers a feature not typically associated with standard communication satellites. Such actions have fueled speculation that the TJS series may serve military or intelligence functions, including signals intelligence, SIGINT, early warning systems, or satellite inspection missions. The TJS-15's insertion into geosynchronous transfer orbit aligns with the operational patterns of its predecessors, many of which have settled into geostationary orbits. This orbital position allows a satellite to maintain a fixed point relative to the Earth's surface, making it ideal for continuous monitoring or communication over specific regions. The strategic placement and the veil of secrecy surrounding the TJS series underscore the potential significance of these satellites in China's broader space strategy. Moreover, the involvement of prominent Chinese aerospace institutions in developing and launching these satellites adds another layer of complexity. The China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation CSC, and its subsidiaries, such as the Shanghai Academy of Space Flight Technology SASD, and the China Academy of Space Technology CAST, have been instrumental in the TJS program. Their expertise in both civilian and military aerospace projects suggest that the TJS satellites could possess dual-use capabilities, further blurring the lines between civilian and military applications. The TJS-15's launch from the Xichang Satellite Launch Center, a facility known for both civilian and military satellite deployments, adds to the ambiguity. The potential military applications of the TJS series have significant implications for global security dynamics. Satellites equipped for signals intelligence can intercept and analyze electronic communications providing critical data on foreign military operations. Early warning satellites, on the other hand, are designed to detect missile launches, offering a strategic advantage in national defense. The TJS series' possible involvement in these areas indicates China's commitment to enhancing its space-based defense capabilities. The maneuverability demonstrated by satellites like TJS-3 suggests capabilities in satellite inspection or even anti-satellite operations. The ability to approach and potentially interfere with other satellites introduces new dynamics to space security and underscores the importance of developing norms and regulations for responsible behavior in space. The launch of TJS-15 also reflects China's broader ambitions to assert itself as a dominant player in space. By advancing its satellite technology and expanding its fleet, China is not only enhancing its national security, but also positioning itself as a leader in space exploration and utilization. This development has significant implications for global geopolitics, as other nations may respond by accelerating their own space programs to maintain strategic parity. Furthermore, the TJS series' potential to enhance China's capabilities in electronic warfare cannot be overlooked. By intercepting and analyzing electronic signals, these satellites could enable China to disrupt or deceive adversary communications and radar systems, thereby gaining a tactical advantage in both peacetime and conflict scenarios. The strategic implications of the TJS series extend beyond immediate military applications. 
The deployment of such satellites contributes to the growing militarization of space, raising concerns about an arms race in this domain. As more nations develop and deploy military satellites, the risk of misunderstandings and conflicts in space increases, highlighting the need for international agreements and norms to govern the use of space for military purposes. As China continues to develop and deploy advanced satellites, other nations may feel compelled to accelerate their own space programs to maintain strategic parity. The rapid advancements in Chinese space technology have not gone unnoticed by global powers, particularly the United States and its allies, who are closely monitoring these developments. The TJS-15 launch, alongside China's broader space initiatives, adds another layer of complexity to the already competitive and increasingly militarized domain of space. One of the key aspects of China's space expansion is its ability to launch a high volume of missions within a short time frame. In 2024, China attempted 68 orbital launches, and in 2025, it is expected to surpass this number. The launch of TJS-15 marked the country's 10th successful orbital launch of the year, reinforcing its commitment to maintaining a strong presence in space. While China has yet to publicly release its full roadmap for 2025, past trends suggest that it will continue to push the boundaries of its space exploration and satellite deployment capabilities. Beyond military and intelligence applications, China is also making significant strides in commercial space endeavors. The country is actively developing a new generation of commercial rockets, including the Long March 8A and Long March 12A which aim to compete with reusable launch systems developed by SpaceX and other private space companies. Additionally, China is expected to send crewed missions to its Tiangong space station, with the Shenzhou-20 and Shenzhou-21 missions scheduled for later in the year. The Tiangong station is rapidly becoming a hub for scientific research and technological advancements, serving as a key element of China's long-term space ambitions. Furthermore, China is preparing for the highly anticipated Tianwen-2 mission, which is set to launch in May 2025. This ambitious mission will aim to collect samples from a near-Earth asteroid before proceeding to rendezvous with a main belt comet, marking a major milestone in China's deep space exploration efforts. The successful execution of Tianwen-2 would further solidify China's reputation as a spacefaring nation capable of conducting complex interplanetary missions. Taken together, these advancements reflect a broader strategy in which China seeks to establish itself as a dominant player in space. The TJS-15 launch isn't just another satellite in orbit. It's a signal that China is rapidly reshaping the future of space. With 14 active TJS satellites, speculation swirls about their true purpose from signals intelligence to early warning systems. Meanwhile, China's Tianwen-2 mission commercial rockets, and space station expansion push its ambitions further. As space becomes more contested, the question isn't just who will lead, but how the world will respond. Will this fuel global cooperation or ignite a new space race? One thing is certain, the stakes in space have never been higher. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching and see you next time.